Hello, how are you doing? I am doing fine. Today with a, one more experiment in my sketchbook. Today again I will paint a landscape taking from a photo taken here from our surroundings taken by my husband. I took this image from his Instagram profile so it's square in format and my sketchbook is not square so I have some adjusting to do there. So I'm playing around with the composition which is totally okay. I set myself the challenge of using ultramarine blue, Van Dyke brown and a dark blue indigo. And these three colors will be the base of all my shadows and the darkest darks. And the idea is to get this summer um, vibe or I started as always sketching with a small brush and because I don't like to throw used colors uh, away I just used the colors that I had on my plate so as you can see the drawing that I'm doing has some different colors and that is totally okay as I know I will paint over those lines so yeah so as you can see I'm doing a lot of lines I started painted the little house I don't know which kind of house is a boat house or a fishing house or something like that uh, this the water that you see is the sea water and I changed the size of this little house I think three times because I could see that I draw it too small at the beginning and I also had to move the line of trees in the back much higher up so yeah that is what happened there Once I were happy with the drawing that I did, I started painting the sky. And I, using the colors that I had on my plate that I could use, to mark where the darkest dark will go. I mix that greenish blue with a little bit of ultramarine blue. So at this point I'm just filling the white page, making some marks and just to have an idea how I want this to look like and how it how I how can you say resolve this Um, at this point I'm still using the colors I had on my plate. I had this red color that per was perfect for the little house, which is a little house built up with, uh, with wood. I continue filling up with different variations in colors on the trees in the back, mainly just to get away with all the white. And you will see later that I, I think I will, I will push the line of trees a little bit, even a little bit higher. Yes, I did that. 
because they are not so far away. And I am using the colors from the, the leftovers from the plate and I'm mixing them with some colors from my little plain air palette and I'm also using my tubes so I am using all what I have. I am using the brand Schminke, most of them are from the brand Schminke and some others but if you want to try this use what you have don't get hung up on the brands now you saw me uh, putting some paper behind the one of the pages of my sketchbook because I wanted to paint to the edge of the page and I was afraid to paint over the other pages so I just put a piece of paper there and in order to keep my painting loose I decided to stand up instead of sitting down so now I'm standing up and painting And you will see me adjusting the composition uh, some, sometimes while I'm painting. So I just adjust the, adjusted the size of the house in the back. There are actually two houses. You can only see the roofs of them. Now that I got more or less an idea of how the background would look like, I started filling up the piece of land, I don't know the name, um, where the main focus of my painting is, with the little house. Now I am working on the little house, trying to put some shadows and adjusting the color. And I think I will leave you now to just enjoy the painting session and I will get back a little bit later with more voiceover.
As you may guess, I am almost finished with this piece and in a little while I will be signing this and putting a date on so I can see when I did this and one day go back and see how much I have improved in my painting skills. I hope you enjoyed this video and I, am, I hope that you are doing good. And, and I have to say this, even I don't like you to, to say these kind of things, but if you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. The links is in the description down below. Or you can just give me a like, follow me if you already do that. And you can also share my work with, if you know uh, others that might like my content. And other than that, I hope you are you have a good weekend, a good day or morning, night, whenever you see this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.